The most I say, in conclusion, he's going to gather the Israelite, the so-called black Latino and native Indian, scatter from the beginning since all this captivity. How many captivity our forefathers went through? So many. The Babylonian, the Assyrian, the Mid-Persian, the Greeks, okay, the Roman, the, the transatlantic trans slavery, they make it like six, and we got the Arabic slavery, they make it seven. At least seven or more than that, right? Seven or more captivity slavery. So the most I say, he's going to bring all his children from all these places and bring them back in the land, in the promised land, Jerusalem. You see, it's plain and simple, right? That's a beautiful lesson that we just touched on, right? For many of our people that don't believe in it, they say, doubt anybody, we just broke it down, right? So Lord willing, that will help many of our people, right? So let's go right here. Let's go right here. I got to prove this, right? Let me read it one more time and then we're going to move ahead. You see, you see, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, for the heathen, and shall assemble the outcasts, the dispersed, the dispersed, the strangers, the Gentile, okay, of Israel, the Gentile of Israel, outcast, you know, Gentile, dispersed. The diaspora of Israel, the diaspora, that's what the word stands for. And gather together the dispersed. He's still explaining who, what does he mean by the outcast. And gather together the dispersed of Judah. We have not been gathered together yet. And the so-called blacks, African-American, Nigerian, Beninese, Ghanaian, that repent and keep on the coming, have they been gathered together yet? No. So we're waiting. That's where Russia will say stand right there, man. It won't be over yet, okay? Keep in mind. Together the dispersal of Yahweh or Judah from the four corners of the earth. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. That's what I'm telling you. All these things happening, Ukraine, Russia, NATO, don't worry about that. You know what? Focus on the scripture. You focus on keeping the commandment. Ye so-called black. If this is happening, it's nothing yet. Because at the end, Russia will see be brought to the land to fight against us. All right, let's go in the book of Jeremiah 16. All right, let's go in the book of Jeremiah chapter 16. We're going to prove something over there quick. Lord willing, if the most I move the spirit, let's go in the book of Jeremiah. All right, keep in mind. And I'll be touching on this because I'll be making some video, Lord willing, in the coming days that the most allow me concerning the feast of Passover. All right, so let's go right here. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14 in the read. Therefore, behold, the day is coming, said the Lord, that it shall, it shall no more be said, the Lord live that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Like I said earlier, you see, that's the principle for Isaiah 11, verses 10, all the way down to 12. Because you got to remember, I just said it at war. Earlier that war, the Mosai, the first time he recovered Israel, it was from war, Egypt. Egypt, it was from Egypt. He has not done it the second time. He's about to do it now. That's why he's waking up the so-called blacks, Latino and Native the people who oppress and peel, destroy, murder on the street, on the highway, on the byway by the hidden, the enemy, and the list goes on and on. He's waking us up slowly, right? So, this second time, he will gather us from all the land whatsoever he scattered us through because of our iniquity, because of our sin, because we rebelled, because we did not keep the commandment, because we became Christian, Muslim, which is a Hormonger and the list goes on and on and on, right? Let's continue. He said, The Lord lived that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. He said, We won't talk about that. When the Mosai delivered the so called African American, when the Mosai delivered the so called Latino and Native Indian from here, from Europe, all these places, all these places will be delivered. We won't talk about Egypt, the Asian Egypt. No, the new talk we'll be having will be what well, oh, the Mosai delivered from America and Canada from the land of the north. Oof. That's what we'll be talking about. That'll be the new talk right now. And later on, how mighty the Most High, he show his power. How powerful the Most High, he strength for his hand, like in the time of old, and deliver us from the hand of those that oppress us day and night, man. That's what we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about what? The deliverance. We won't be talking about the ancient Egypt. No, we because America is a spiritual Egypt. America, America is a spiritual Egypt. Right? If you don't know, you go in the book of Revelation 11, you get read about it. Right? 
say I'll be addressing that in another video. He said, but we won't talk about the ancient Egypt. It's over. We want to talk. We'll be talking about the way the Mosai deliver the Israelite, the so-called African American, the so-called blacks, the so-called Latino and Native Indian from America. That's what we'll be talking about, man. We will remember all the evil we went through, the weakness that they have done against us in this place. And guess what? That's what we'll be talking about. We won't be talking about. No, man. Because this is the most evil, the most wicked city in the whole earth, man. Right? Let's continue. But the Lord lived that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. I just told you. From the land of the north, man. This is the north. Right? This is the north right here. All right. Let me see. If I got one of my... Bear with me, Salakia. Let me see if I got one of my... There we go. Let me try this. Okay. The land of the north. Because like I told you, when you look at it right here, you draw this line right here, right? We're going to go by the equator, right? Right? Okay. Let's draw this, the equator line. Okay, we want to show you. Because some of you, maybe you don't know. Maybe you're doubting about what we say. Okay? So all this right here, you see this? Is the land of the north, man. That's the north right there. You see? This is the land of the north. You see, it's not that bright. Let me see if I can get this one. Maybe the black one might help out a little bit more. It might be a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. The land of the north, let's see. The land of the north, man, come on, man. Some of you don't want salvation. You don't even believe. Some of you don't even want this to happen. You know, some of you don't, don't want to leave Bible in the grave, man. You see this? This is the north, okay. This, all this is the north, okay. Look it up. Okay, all this is the north, man. All this is the north. Include Canada, the United States of America, Mexico, right? Mexico, I'll say, yeah, maybe a part of, uh, I'll say, Guatemala, Jamaica, okay, Haiti, okay, Nassau, the, the Bahamas, uh, Santo uh, Domingo, Dominican Republic, okay. All these islands in the Caribbean. And then you go right here, he's talking about what? Algeria. Libya, Morocco, Egypt, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Mali, Mauritania, right? West Sahara. You continue right here. You got Saudi Arabia. You got Yemen, part of Yemen. You got part of Oman, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, right? You got Spain. You got France. You got Germany. You got Poland. You got Finland, Sweden, Norway. You got Ireland. Man, the list goes on and on and on, man. So we will be delivered from, the most self delivered from all this land. This is the north, man. And this is the south. This is the south. Okay. Boom. All right. This is the south. Okay. The north. All this country, take a look at it. Boom. All this. And this is the south. All right. Geography 101. All right. Geography 101. All right. Shalom King. Shalom King, all praises. Right? As you can see. So pray much, we can see, see. But the Lord live that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. So we won't be talking about ancient Egypt. No, man. We'll be talking about how the Mosai delivered with mighty hand from where? From America. From Europe. From France. From Germany. That's what we will be talking about. From the land of the north. Not only in America, because we got brother. Brother that live in Germany, Spain, Italy, you know, uh, uh, I would say Russia, Ukraine. Guess what? That's what we will be talking about. That the Mosai deliver from this mighty country that were oppressing us. Imagine that. That's, that will be the news, man, among our nation. You see, but the Lord liver that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the land, whither he had driven them. Where, 
for whatsoever the Most High scattered us, man, He will deliver us, man. The Most High promised. He is not an idol. The Most High is not an idol, man. The Most High liveth, man. He made us. So the Most High said, He's going to deliver us from all this land, man. Look. Right? The Israelite, right? You got Israelite here, right? You got Israelite living in this, all this area right here. You see? You got Israelite living there. Sometimes you might not know them, okay? You got a whole bunch of Israelite living here. You got those remnants that are going to be saved, okay? You got Israelite living there. Then you got this whole land right here, this area here. You got Israelite living mainly where? In what? North America, which is the USA, Canada, right? Mexico, right? And you go down right here. South America, guess what? You got a whole bunch of Israelites living over there. And in the Caribbean right there. Okay? Then you go to Africa right here, right? And you got a whole bunch of Israelites living over there. Okay? So keep in mind, you got Israelites throughout the fucking on this earth, man. That the most I say, he'll deliver us from all the land. He'll deliver us. And some of you don't want it. You worry about Ukraine. You want to go save the Ukraine? Go save them. Okay? Go save them and receive the Holy Spirit and see what the Most High will, uh, will do to you. The Most High will trust you too, man. He said, But the Lord live that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I'll bring them again. Hold on. Because we have not been brought back again into the land. No. We're scared in captivity. We're scared in scattered. We're being oppressed. Throughout the fucking on this earth because of our sin and iniquity. We are no legit. Right? And I'll bring them again into the land that I gave unto their fathers. Amen. Hallelujah, man. Amen. Hallelujah. So you got to keep in mind. The most side, that's why when you go right here, let me show you. Let's go, you know, you know what? Let me go right here quick. Because a lot of you don't understand. Okay. Okay. A lot of our people, they don't understand. Right? Let's go right here quick. I just want to use a couple of precepts quick here. Just to prove a point. I want to prove a point. Let me prove a point quick. There is a book of James. All right? I'll go to James 1 and 1. All right? I want to prove unto you. There is a book of James chapter 1 and verses 1. James 1 and 1. is read, James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Amashiach to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Green, do you understand? They will scatter abroad. Greeting unto you. That's all. Stop running your mouth talking about is everybody included. No. The Bible, what you come to find out is that the Bible is a very, 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 very separate book. It's not for everybody. No. No, no, no. Let's go in Peter. Peter was the stone. He was the one that Amashiach chose, right? Through the will of the Mosai. Keep in mind. Let's read what Peter said. Some of you run to Paul. Even Paul talked to you is about what? The Israelites, his own people, his own race. He's not talking about everybody, but because you don't have understanding. That's why you, you're hurting your own self. First Peter 1 and 1. You say, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Amashiach, to the strangers, the dispersed, the scattered, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience. And the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Amashiach. Now, the sprinkling of blood was it given to the Arabs? The sprinkling of the blood was it given to the Chinese? The sprinkling of the blood was it given to everybody? No, it was given unto the Israelite. It was given unto the Israelite. It's a grace unto you and peace be multiplied. You gotta keep in mind, right? So the Russian ain't going nowhere until Bible prophecy are fully fulfilled. So let's keep on going, right? Right? Let's keep on rolling, right? There is a book of Ezekiel chapter 38. Ezekiel 38 and verses 8. After many days thou shalt be visited in the latter year, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. That's what we just broke down and gave you all the understanding, the precept. And it's gathered out of many people. It is gathered out of many people, out of many nations. Because we scatter with people, okay? Right? Against the mountain of Israel. Against who? Us. Against the so-called black satin and native Which have been always a waste. We have been always a waste. Until right now. Until right now, we've been a waste as a nation. We've been killed. Destroyed. Ain't nobody worrying about that. Nobody talking about that. All of a sudden, 
They're bringing the narrative and making you believe that the Ukrainian, they're the one that need, they're the one suffering the most. For how long so-called blacks, Latino, and Native have been suffering? For how long? Before 70 AD. Before 70 AD. I'm not talking about 1492. No. I go beyond that. We have been suffering since war. Before 70 AD. Before 70 AD. We've been scattered. Since the Mid-Persian. Since the Babylonian. Since the Assyrian. Northern Kingdom was taken away. war. 742 before the birth of our Lord and Savior Yahushua Mashiach. So keep that in mind. So we've been oppressed for so long. And nobody did anything about it. They never pay us the damage they have done against us, against so-called black African. How come Joe Biden don't focus on that? Then he take our tax money. He take our tax money. The tax pay your money from here. He take it to go found war in another country. Meanwhile, you got the people that are being working that will labor for this country. The people that are labor and suffer day and night, they wake up early in the morning. Some broke their back. Some lost their, 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 their hips, their, their, their shoulder. Their some got cancer just working, trying to make a living and surviving, get, being tasked by such a wicked government. And you take the money from the people that work for their own money and you go give it to other people. Is that what you call justice? 